Hello friends and welcome back to Unbound Learners Pre-K. How are you doing today? That's great to hear. Let's sing our good morning song together. We're going to stretch our arms out like airplane wings. We'll fly to one side, over to the other side, fly back to the middle. Big stretch out in front. Now take the circle up over your head. We'll stretch on this side over to the other side one last time up at the top and now let's sing together good morning dear earth good morning dear sun good morning dear rocks and flowers everyone good morning dear beast and birds in the trees Good morning to you and good morning to me. Good morning, friends. I hope that you're having a wonderful day so far. Before we get started on the calendar and weather chart, we have to do three things quickly. Number one, let's turn on our listening ears. The second thing that we need to do is put on our thinking hats. So you look for your thinking hat. Let's see. My thinking hat is over here. I'm going to put it on top of my head. And today my thinking hat has a zipper underneath my chin. So I'm going to zip it up. And the last thing that we need to do is warm up our hearts like this. Boom, 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 boom. And now let's get started with the calendar and weather chart. I have my pointing stick and let's go over the date first. Here's the month. Do you remember what the month is? September, you're right. The month is September. And today is September 7th. Let's move the chip over from yesterday. Yesterday was September 6th. And today is September 7th. And the year is 2021 or 2021. Let's take out our counting fingers like this. We're going to warm them up just a little bit and give them a stretch. And let's see how many days we've had so far in the month of September. Will you count with me? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. We've had seven days so far in the month of September. And look at this. We're all set to sing the Days of the Week song because for this song, we hold up seven fingers for each one of the Days of the Week. If you know the words, sing along with me. There are seven days, there are seven days, there are seven days in a week. Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday. Let's go down to the bottom of the chart and go over the days of the week together. Here's the sound that the day starts with. If you know what the day is, you can say it with me. Yesterday was M. Monday, the first day of the weekday. That means that today is T. Tuesday. Tomorrow will be W. Wednesday. Let's sing Today is Tuesday together. It goes like this. Today is Tuesday, today is Tuesday, today is Tuesday, all day long. Today is Tuesday, today is Tuesday, today is Tuesday, all day long. And let's go back up to the top of the chart where we have the season. Do you know what the season is? Summer, that's right. It's still summertime where I live for a few more weeks. And down at the bottom of the chart, we have a picture of the weather. So let's sing the weather song together, and then we can talk about what we see outside. What's the weather? What's the weather? Can you tell? Can you tell? Is the sun shining? Is the rain falling? Can you tell? Can you tell? So today where I live, it's a sunny day. When I look outside of my window, the sky is blue 
the sun is shining and my temperature chart is on orange because it's warm. Today is warm and sunny. What about you, friends? What do you see outside of your window? Thanks for sharing the weather with me. Let's move on to the letter, the number, and the sign of the week. So yesterday, we talked about this uppercase letter. Do you remember the sound that this letter makes? Let's do that together. J, J. And what uppercase letter is this? J. This is a capital J. J says J, J. And I wonder what we'll find inside of the letter box today. Inside of this box, I have a picture of something that starts with the letter J, J. I'll give you a few clues, and if you think you know what it is, you can take a guess. Here's your first clue. This is something that flies in the sky. It's a type of an aircraft, and it travels very quickly. What could it be? Let's take a look. This is a jet. So a jet is a type of an aircraft. It travels very, very quickly because it uses jet engines. Jet starts with the letter J, J. This is how you write an uppercase J, J. One more time. Yesterday, we also learned a new number of the week. This is the double digit number 15. When you write the number 15, you have to write two numbers. Can you show me with your fingers what number you write first? One. After you write the number one, you write this number. Five. One, five. Fifteen. Let's count to the number 15 together using the large bead frame. Today we're going to count to the number 15 using the large bead frame. 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 110, five units, 15. And let's take a peek inside of the number box and see what we have to count today. I have a bunch of clovers. So these clovers are flowers. They come in the colors white and purple. Let's count to see how many I have. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, and one more makes fifteen. Fifteen flowers. But I wonder if I have more purple clovers or more white clovers. Let's see. Let's count the purple clovers first. One, two, three, four, five, six. So I have six purple clovers. And let's see how many white clovers I have. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Because nine is bigger than six, that means that I have more white clovers and less purple clovers. Altogether, we counted 15 clovers. 
Yesterday, I showed you how to say school in sign language. Do you remember how to do that? School. Do you want to try? School. Inside of the backpack today, I have a few different tools that are going to help me learn at school. Do you want to see what I have? Let's open up the larger zipper first. So remember, in order to unzip my backpack, I'm going to hold the backpack with one of my hands. With my other hand, I'm going to pull the zipper up and around. And look at this. I have a notebook inside of my backpack. So a notebook is a type of a journal. There are pages inside and the paper can either have lines on it or it can be blank. A notebook is used for writing or coloring and whenever I work in it I make sure that I use both sides of the paper because the paper comes from a tree. Now let's open up this front pocket. Let's take a look and see what I have inside of here. Looks like all of these tools inside are used for writing or coloring. First, I have a pencil. So this pencil is used for writing. On one end of the pencil is an eraser. This is used to erase whatever you've been writing or drawing if you've made a mistake. And at the top, the tip of the pencil right here, this is where the lead is, and the lead is what is used to write with. I have my pencil. I also have this. This is called a pen. So the pen has a top on it, and this tip is a little bit different because instead of having lead like a pencil, a pen has ink inside of it. And a pen is also used for writing. But when you're finished, you'd want to make sure that you put the top on so the ink doesn't dry out. Over on this side of the pocket, it looks like I have some tools that are used for coloring. This is a marker. So a marker is similar to a pen because it has a top on it. When I pull it off, there's a tip also with ink inside of it. And I always have to remember to put the top back on so the ink doesn't dry out. And the last thing that I have inside of my pocket today is a crayon. So crayon is also used for coloring, but unlike a pen or a marker, a crayon is made out of wax and then it has a paper covering on the outside. So let's put the crayon back, the marker back, pen, and pencil. And now I'm going to zip up the backpack. I'm going to hold the backpack with one hand and pull the zipper back up and around. I have the notebook, put that back inside. Zip it back up, and now I'm all ready for school. For today's work, you will need a handheld pencil sharpener and a dull pencil. So as you can see, the tip of the pencil right here is pretty dull. The lead is inside of the pencil, and that's the part that we write with and this needs to be sharpened. So I'm going to use my pencil sharpener to sharpen the lead on the pencil. Now, some pencil sharpeners have two openings at the top. They have a smaller side and a larger side. And I'm going to take my pencil and just test it out to see which one would fit best. So when I put it into the larger circle, I can see that the pencil is a little bit wobbly, but when I put it into the smaller side, it fits perfectly. Now, 
you can also take the top off to the pencil sharpener and that's where the shavings will go. And I'm just going to make sure that it's on tightly. And I'm going to take my pencil, put it into the smaller opening and just start to twist it and turn it around like this. As I twist my pencil around, I can hear the pencil shavings coming off. And I can see that the tip of the pencil is getting sharper. When I look inside of the pencil sharpener, I can see the shavings at the bottom. It looks like it needs to be sharpened a little bit more. I'm going to keep twisting it. So with one hand, I'm holding my pencil sharpener with my thumb on the lid to keep it nice and tight and from popping off. With my other hand, I twist around, around, around. And when I don't hear the pencil shavings coming off anymore, I know that my pencil is sharpened. When I'm all done sharpening my pencil, I can untwist the lid and you can see the little shavings inside, which I can dump into the garbage. Let's get back to circle time. Welcome back to circle time, friends. Thanks for learning with me today. If you haven't already, please subscribe to my channel give my video a big thumbs up, and be sure to find me on OutSchool for my live and interactive classes. You can also support my channel by checking out my Patreon page and gain access to bonus features for your child. We have one more song to sing before we go. Goodbye, friends. Goodbye, friends. Goodbye, friends. I'll see you next time. Have a great day, everyone, and I'll see you tomorrow.